This is Fisher Frying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to The Nest. Our video newsletters provide weekly insight into building and flying our 15 wooden aircraft designs. Polini Motori of Italy is a gracious sponsor of our channel. Polini is the manufacturer of the Thor 250 DS, a two-stroke liquid-cooled 36 horsepower engine that is used in all of our single seat designs. Please take the time to watch our videos to the end as this assists us in the metrics that YouTube uses to rate our channel. Hit the like button if you feel that the content is worthy. We invite you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell so that you are notified whenever we post our newsletters. Hello everyone. If you're new to our channel, I'd like to welcome you. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. This week we're going to talk about wing folding and a new pivoting mechanism that I've designed for our monoplanes. We're also going to be giving updates on wood species substitution and the analysis we've been doing. And I'm also going to give an update on the electric propulsion uh, work that we've been doing. Lastly, we're going to be uh, going over some of the website store changes and products available. And we'll finish off with some international customer videos and photos. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. I've been called time and again by many potential customers who wanted to know about wing folding mechanisms with our aircraft. And currently we have wing folding capability on the FP303, um, the Horizon, uh, and the uh, Dakota Hawk models. Um, but they leave a little bit to be desired because of the way the wing folds uh, with it folding and not pivoting uh, as as it's folded up it, it it becomes about 11 feet wide which is nice you don't need a lot of room in a hanger kind of thing but you can't road it you can't they're non rotable and um, so I've been working on a new wing pivot mechanism um, based on some of the stuff that I've seen you know, when touring around Oshkosh in my off time, and uh, I saw one one airplane that it was just the simplest idea. And um, you know, I've been busy and I haven't been able to get it all put together. But I made a CAD drawing of it just over this weekend, and um, I wanted to share that with you just to show you how simply we could probably put this together. Um, if you look at this wood plywood piece. This plywood piece would be installed between the forward and aft um, spar carry-throughs in the upper portion of the cabin. And then we would have a, a, a flange and a, and, a, and a sleeve and this rod would be able to move in and out as you can see here. So basically when you're going to take your wing off you would undo the two you know the, the normal attachment points the brackets that come from the wing into the spark carry through take the bolts out or pins out or however you work work that and then you would pull the wing outwards after taking the strut off and this would bring it out to a point where it would stop and it wouldn't be able to move any fur further and then using this universal joint and the fact that this rod would be able to pivot inside of this sleeve you would be able to rotate the wing around so that the leading edge would be pointing down and then you would be able to fold it backwards toward the fuselage and utilizing a, a yoke of some sort over the back edge back end of the fuselage you'd be able to hang your wings I wouldn't suggest putting them on the um, on the horizontal stabilizer and probably the struts that support the horizontal stabilizer would uh, to the fin would would get in the way so I would suggest that um, you make a yoke of some sort that that either sits on the ground or um, hangs over the back edge of the of the fuselage to support the wings when they're folded um, but this is a very simple mechanism to make um, and uh, it wouldn't add much weight to the airplane 
uh, and it would allow for a very uh, easy way to keep this captured. I mean, you don't want to pull the wing out and all of a sudden it comes all the way off and drop it. It would make it a one-man operation too because you'd be able to support the wing after you've removed the strut with a ladder or something like that. And then once you've got the interior bolts uh, removed, then you go out to the end of the wing and you just pull it out. You know, it, it just pulls straight out and stops and then you can pivot it yourself. So one person would be able to take the wing, undo it, pull it out, rotate it around, and then set it into the yoke that's at the end of, uh, or that's hanging on the on the aft portion of the fuselage. So this is something that I would like to try out. Um, if anybody's interested in, um, in in working with me on, they've, or they've got a project they want to fit it into, uh, we currently don't have an airplane that we can put it into. But uh, I would uh, I'd make up a prototype and supply it for free for somebody who wanted to install it. So give me a holler at uh, davidfisherflying.com or or um, give me a call at 519-933-2055 if you're interested in um, in working with me on getting this uh, this prototype mechanism installed and, and, and see how it works. So that's it for this part. Uh, I'll be right back with some more information on what's going on with wood species. The wood structures engineer that we've been working with has given me an update on the analysis he's performing on our R80 Tiger Moth. He indicated that he's not too far away from finishing a detailed set of load calculations. These are a bit more detailed than the previous loads report that we got that were put together way back in the 80s. Um, we're using computers now rather than slide rules. Uh, he'll be producing a full set of loads to Part 23, Amendment 48, which are of the certification standard. Uh, they'll include consideration of the 1150 pound gross weight and I'm going to ask him as well to do the numbers all the way up to the 1,320 pound LSA maximum weight. We'll be analyzing the effect of forward and aft G, uh, CG positions, all critical cases within the flight envelope, and performing a calculation of an accurate spanwise loading and inertial relief, inertia relief from the mass of the wing. Before the above analysis can be done though, the wing load cases with the ailerons deflected and wing loads due to gust loads at VC, which are more critical than the maneuver loads at this speed, and the vertical tailplane and rudder loads will have to be determined. He's also calculated section properties of the wing spars for bending and shear analysis once these loads are completed. And finally, he has established the allowable stresses that will be used in the stress calculations for the substitute timber species under consideration. So just wanted to let you guys know that we take any changes that we are making to our design seriously. Uh, we make sure that we you know, meet up with the proper people and that the, the proper analysis is done so that we can keep everyone safe. Just a quick update on the availability and uh, the work that we've been doing with the electric propulsion systems. Uh, it looks like uh, from the documentation that I've been able to read, uh, given to me by the person I'm working with on this, uh, that uh, you know we're not going to have any real issues uh, trying to come up with a system that's going to fit into our aircraft. Uh, we're using uh, established materials, established engines our motors and uh, you know the batteries we're going to do some configuration work on that but basically right now we're um, working on how we're going to um, have a relationship together to, to, to provide these and um, I will have more information uh, and more technical information available when we've kind of got that finalized so um, exciting times ahead this is looking really good. We've been doing some work on the website and I uh, just wanted to walk you through uh, uh, our new shopping area. Uh, if you go onto the tab onto the right hand side, you can click on the shop uh, tab and it will take you to our new shop. And uh, we've got a couple of things in there. Um, we've got, you can buy the construction videos right from the shop and it's a direct download. Um, we've also got Tom Marsden's uh, Tips and Tricks or as an ebook now that's available for purchase as direct download. Um, I've done up a few um, of my caricatures onto, uh, onto cups and whatnot, you can see here, but uh, I'd love some feedback as to what you guys might want to uh, uh, see available on the, 
on the website. Uh, when COVID started, we were having uh, trouble um, getting any kind of product because it seems like everybody wanted to be selling something online and um, uh, Printful and the guys that do on-demand uh, t-shirts and all that stuff, they just couldn't keep up and they wouldn't even allow you to design anything for a while. But I think now things are um, leveled out a little bit and uh, they've gotten caught up with their uh, uh, their capacity and so I'm going to start adding some t-shirts and the different uh, apparel items on here and I'm just um, curious as to what uh, what you'd like to see first so uh, drop me a line uh, to davidfisherflying.com and give me your comments or put them in the comment section below and uh, we'll try to get the apparel and uh, different bling items on here that uh, you can purchase and uh, it all goes to help out uh, um, help us out to uh, keep this good content coming and to uh, keep afloat in the uh, ever-changing landscape that we're in. Juan Rodriguez sent me this w nice picture of his uh, red and silver classic with a looks like a 912 in it uh, from uh, Quito, Ecuador and uh, he looks like he's got a expedition outfit that uh, hopefully he's using the airplane for. It's kind of interesting. So he's asked me for some technical information, which we'll be sending down to him. But uh, congratulations, Juan, on your new classic aircraft from Fisher Flying Products. Emiliano Paneschi sent me some photos of his Dakota Hawk fuselage, fresh out of his workshop and into the Argentinian sunlight for the first time. I want to say congratulations Emiliano from all of the members of the Fisher family. You've done a great job in constructing your airplane. Thanks again for watching. We try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos. And to receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time from the nest.